Hi guys, we're back on the iPad. Okay, so as you all know, I have an iPad Pro. Okay, if you've seen one of my videos before where I talked about, ah, I got an iPad Pro. Some people might ask what kind of iPad Pro, because there's like a billion of them and I don't understand it. Why there's a billion of these. Well, there's not actually a billion. There might be a billion sold, but I don't think it's a billion models of the iPad Pro. So basically, when the iPad Pro first came out, okay, it was an A9, was it an A9? Yeah, I think it ran A9, right? The second model was A10X or whatever, or, or was A9X and then A uh, something. I think it was the A10X or the A11X or something. Um, might have been a 10X. And then it ran, you know, A12, or A11, A12, A12Z, um, you know, it is confusing. This one, this iPad Pro runs the, uh, or uses the, A M the M1 chip, the same chip found in the Mac, the Mac products now, nowadays. Uh, or at least the first generation of the Mac products, because I know they're coming out with an M2, an M2 that they're going to use in the iPad or the no, not the iPad, um, the MacBooks, the MacBook uh, Pro, and uh, 13 inch, and the MacBook Air. Um, so, yeah, I do know they're using the M2. Uh, oh, and uh, I think. I actually don't, I think other, other products are using the M1 or the M1 Pro or M1 Max or something. So yeah, like the Mac Studio, which is $4,000. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna even bother buying that one. Um, too much money. Now, if they had a, an iMac Pro that ran like beautifully, you know, like an M1 Pro or M1 Max, you know, the iMac Pro, I would be like, hmm, that would be very tempting. It would probably be $5,000, $6,000, so, for the iMac Pro, which, I mean, granted, I would be like, hmm, it's worth it at that point, and I, I have to determine, yes, yes, it is fucking worth it oh great okay so yeah um i have the um m1 ipad pro it's 128 gig now you might be like why would you spend that kind of money on an ipad pro uh i didn't actually buy this ipad pro my sister did um and then she sold it to me for uh, $800, and I'm like, oh, great, she forgot to give me the box, in addition to giving me the, uh, pencil that comes with it, the Apple Pencil, she still hasn't given me either one of those, yeah, but, but it's okay, it's okay, we're gonna make do, we're gonna make do, okay, now, I don't really have any need for the Apple Pencil, but, it would be nice to get something you pay for, right? Yeah. Anyway, so plans. Uh, plans are very uh, strange this year because I'm like trying to save as much money as I can. I still haven't actually paid my rent, but um, yeah, uh, I have to. When I get my next paycheck, I got to pay rent. Okay. I haven't got my next paycheck. I was supposed to get it today. What the fuck happened that I don't get my next my new paycheck today? What, what the fuck? Uh, it's, it's horrible, man. It's horrible. Anyway, uh, I would like to upgrade from the iPhone 12 mini that I've been using for the last almost two years now. It's been almost two years, dude, since I got this iPad 12 mini. And I, I've enjoyed it. I, you know, I, I, I actually love this phone. It's mini, it's mini, and that's one of the reasons why I got this phone, was because it's mini, it's an iPhone 12, it was 
better than my iPhone SE second generation that I had and was using as my main phone for about six or seven months. And I was like, okay, so they're offering a deal on the iPhone 12 mini plus, plus it's one of the newer iPhones. I was like, yes, I want to get this. And you know what? You know what ticks me off? They're doing away with the iPhone or iPhone mini line. You know, they're doing away with the iPhone mini line. They're like, yeah, sorry. We we don't want to do iPhone minis anymore. Yeah, because no one's buying them. And I'm like, I bought them. I bought at least one. And I've been using it as my daily driver for the past couple of years. I've been using it to make videos and stuff. And I'm like, fuck. So I already have it figured out. I already have it figured out. I am going, my next phone is going to be the iPhone 14 Pro. I know, you're just like, Pro. Can you even afford that? Of course I can afford it. Eh? With Verizon, you literally just, you literally just pay, pay for the, or you basically just add it to your plan. And then that's it. Once this phone is, once this phone is completely paid off, I can just upgrade. I can just upgrade to the iPhone 14 Pro. And it's going to be beastly because, because number one, it's not going to have this fucking bar right here. You know, the little notch, I think they call it. The notch. It's not going to have the notch anymore. It's going to be a fucking, have a paper cut for the, like, like basically like a paper, hole punched, uh, what they call a hole punch, because it looks like one, uh, for the camera and all the other shit that it probably needs or whatever. But yeah, um, looking forward to upgrading to the iPhone 14 Pro. It's going to be great. Um, you know, it's, it's interesting, to say the least. And obviously... Uh, Having used Pro products before, you know, I have a PS4 Pro, for example, which, granted, it's it's not like it's not like okay, that's the same thing as an Apple Pro. It's not, but what are you guys doing? Where's, where's your where's your sister? Are you attacking your sister now? I think uh, I think the new kitten is a little girl. Yeah, because she doesn't seem that bald, from what I've seen. Not like Sam does. Anyway, yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. What else? I've been up since 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Horrible, horrible, man. I uh, just, I, my body just naturally wakes me up at 6 a.m. It's like, what's going on? And then it's like, oh, it's 6 a.m. Wow. Now, most of you may know that I'm an Apple fanboy. You may know this. How do you know this? Let's see, I have a, I have at least three iPhones, right? I have three iPhones. iPhone SE first generation, iPhone SE second generation, and this iPhone 12 mini. I have two iPads. I have an Apple Watch. You could say I'm a bit of an Apple fan, boy. Yeah. But uh, I'm thinking about getting a iMac because I want to use, uh, I want I want one for video production primarily uh, because I love producing videos and honestly my Windows machine is kind of pissing me off because the videos, it, it lets me make not really high quality unless I want to pay a subscription fee for 20, 30, 40 dollars a month for 
some sort of program um, or pay for a program outright that is not very good. So really, really, there's only one option for video production. Uh, yeah. Anyway, see you later.